guys, this is Kelsey from Frankly Natural Beauty, and today my mom is behind the camera, and I'm going to be making a soap that we're going to be restocking in our shop. It's going to be the Activated Charcoal Soap. We followed, we decided to follow the Brambleberry recipe, but we modified it to add kaolin clay to it, which will give it um, antibacterial properties, and it'll make it a lot smoother and it'll give it more lather and it will be a great addition to the soap. Yeah. So without further ado, let's get soaping! So before I start soaping, I like to suit up with gear like this hairnet, goggles, and gloves, and long sleeves, along with an apron. And the reason for this is because I'm going to be working with some caustic chemicals and I want to be sure that I'm protected. So remember guys, if you want to get into soaping, be sure to suit up with all your gear like I have done. I will also be putting on a mask. Alright. Okay, let's go and start this. Alright. So. With this soap, I'm going to be using the heat transfer method with my solid oils and I'm going to add the liquid oils to the solid oils and I'm going to first prepare my lye water Because it has to be hot, right? Because it has to be very hot so that it can melt the solid oils Okay, and you're wearing a mask, right? And I am wearing a mask yeah, because Kelsey doesn't like the fumes. You should wear a mask all the time. It's not, it's not a good thing to inhale the fumes. It's a good thing to do in wearing a mask. Okay, so we, Kelsey's gonna go and prepare the lye and then we'll come back and she's gonna melt the solid oils. What do you have in there, Kelsey? In the solid oils, I have palm oil and coconut oil. All right, fantastic. So we will be back in one second. All right, so now that I've prepared my lye water, I'm going to pour it into my oils, my solid oils. Okay, what's uh, the temperature on the, the temperature of the lye is 174 degrees. Okay, so Kelsey, uh, be very careful. Don't splash it. I'm going to be very careful with this. I'm gonna make sure I don't splash. Very gradually. Okay. And now it is all in. And now I'm going to stir it to make sure it dissolves. That's right. Okay, so uh, while Kelsey does that, we're gonna take a little break from you guys to see this because you've seen this before when I do it. <laughs> so don't want to bother you watching the oils dissolve down. Let's see you like doing it. You like watching it. <laughs> so we'll be back, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to put my liquid oils into my solid melted oils. That's my oil and lye solution. Yeah, and you're going to be slow. You don't want to splash. I'm not going to splash. I'm going to be very careful. Yeah, slowly put in there. And we have, in there, we have olive oil, and castor tamanu oil, oil. Yeah, and tamanu oil. And those are all oils that are really good for uh, acne and problematic skin, like uh, greasy skin. Uh, we are not doctors, we're not chemists, so we just know that this works. So that's a disclaimer, that this is just what we know works for our customers. Us, it's not like something, you know, that's approved by the FDA, we don't... So we, we're just saying that because we have people that like it for those properties. Right, Kelsey? Right. 
Okay, so now Kelsey's gonna mix it up a little bit with the spatula. No, we're not gonna use a stick blender yet. She's just gonna mix the two oils. I mean, the two different kind of oils, not the. She's gonna mix the solid oils that were melted and the liquid oils together. We don't want to use the stick blender yet, because that would make a, a really a thick trace after, and we want it to be a little fluid there, more fluid. Right, Kelsey? Right. All right, so now Kelsey has a couple more ingredients that are going to go in there. What do you have there, Kelsey? I have kale and clay mixed with water what and else? with a little bit of water, mm -hmm. which is why we did a little bit of a water discount. And mm -hmm. then I have our activated charcoal mixed with oil. Yeah, we like to do that, right? We don't like to put it in there loose because it goes everywhere, it doesn't mix very well. It's just the way we like to do it. Yep. And, um, there you go, Kelsey, if you need to scrape it. Okay, so Kelsey's going to put the kale and clay in there first. Okay. Okay, make sure you scrape it, Kelsey, because there's stuff on the bottom. Oh, right. Okay, so Kelsey's blending everything with the spatula first, right Kelsey? Right. You got the charcoal and the kale and clay in there. Mm -hmm. And then she's gonna blend it with the stick blender. Yep. Wow, that looks very nice and dark, Kelsey. Mm-hmm. All right. So. Now she's gonna blend it with the with the stick blender. Yes. Remember to burp. Burps all the all the uh, air bubbles come up. All right. Cool. Now we uh, emulsified the oils, right, Kelsey, with the lye solution. So Kelsey's going to put in a uh, blend of our um, essential oils. We What do we have in there, Kelsey? We have tea tree and peppermint. Yeah, and there's 50-50 of uh, the oils. And it smells so nice. I like the smell of tea tree and peppermint, but you know, some people don't like tea tree oil. I love it. And she's gonna blend it again to mix it all up till she gets to medium to may light, light face a little bit more than that. More like a medium face. So, okay, so I'll okay, see, show them. I think you're, uh, we are almost there, Kelsey. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, we are light trace. I don't know if you guys can see it. When Kelsey puts the, um, the stick blender up there and lets it fall, it leaves a little mark on it, a little... 
See that? Well, what do you? What would you say it is, Kelsey? It's like it traces around the top of of the batter. Yeah. Yeah. And yep. uh, we forgot to say that uh, why we use tomato oil. We use tomato oil because it's a very good ingredient for a, a charcoal soap. It's used in a lot of skincare products. Uh, for, also for anti-aging creams and this oil is very rich in fatty acids so it helps the skin moisturize too and has uh, antioxidants and uh, supposedly fights against damage and free radicals so we like that and like the kaolin clay we use it in there to y calcy to prevent acne and to absorb excess oil. Right. And like, uh, but we disclaimer again, we're not doctors, we're not dermatologists, we just do this for fun. And that's what Google says and that's what like, our customers say, that they like it because it works uh, on their skin. Alright, so I think we're ready to pour, right? Right. So let's go get our uh, mold and we're going to pour. And there we go. We're ready to pour. And this is an easy soap to pour because it doesn't have any swirls. It's one color. So not very hard to make. Kelsey loves this one. Uh -huh. She likes to make this one and her signature one. That's the cucumber melon, right, Kelsey? Right. Okay. So she's gonna smack it down a little bit so we don't have air bubbles, right? Very nice. And we're out of the soap, out of the soap, so we gotta make a lot of it. Because this is a, one of our best sellers. Alright, so Kelsey's going to do a little bit of design there with her spoon. Very simple, nothing special. Just to have a little bit of texture. Okay guys, so there it is. It's done. A very simple but beautiful soap that we love and our customers love. We use it too for our, yeah, for our own personal use. And this is a great facial soap. Alright guys, we'll see you in about 24 hours when we are molded and we're going to cut it. And if you like what you've seen right now and before, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to uh, click on the bell so you can be notified when we make more videos. Alright, see you guys in about 24 hours. Hi everybody, we're back and it took about 48 hours for this soap to be ready to be cut. We just molded it from the mold and Kelsey is going to cut it. Right, Kelsey? Right. What are you doing now, Kelsey? I'm cutting a small slice of it for mm. a sample bar. The end, yeah. Yep, this is the end piece. Alright. Awesome. It's very simple. That's pretty much why I like making it because it's not that hard to make. But it's very good for your face. So, it has really good stuff in it. All good oils. They're great for acne and for sensitive skin. And uh, charcoal is a great, uh, great additive because it's um, detoxifying. So, this is a soap that Kelsey likes to make. Right, Kelsey? Right. And it's also a favorite soap from a lot of our customers. This soap is, sells really fast. It's a great soap. We use it ourselves, right, Kelsey? Right. Yeah, we use it for cleaning our faces. It's very nice. 
Okay guys, so Kelsey's gonna finish cutting this and we'll be back in uh, Jiffy and show you the bars. So these are the finished activated charcoal bars. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And we will see you in the next video. Please don't forget to wash your hands. That's right. Wear your mask. Be safe. Bye.